Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Sravi Kumar, a certified solution architect and IT career coach. So I am back with another interview question, which is what is the difference between singleton and a static class? So want to know? Let's get started. So let me give you the premises of this question. What happens? The interviewer asks you the question, do you know what are design patterns and have you used any design patterns? And your answer will be, yes, I know. And most of the developer, the very first answer they give is, yes, I know. And I have used design patterns like singleton, factory, blah, 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 and all those things. Okay. So many developers have used singleton pattern because it's the easiest pattern to implement and learn. As the name suggests, singleton means that one class which can be utilized throughout the life cycle of the application. Okay. So whenever it's asked that, uh, what all design patterns do you know? The developer directly says that, okay, I know singleton, factory, etc, etc, etc. So to confuse the candidate, the interviewer says that, do you know there is a construct in C sharp, which is called static. And when we create a class as static, the class, uh, uh, the object of that class is available throughout the life cycle of the application. So if we have already have this thing where we can get a single object, why should I go for the hassle of creating this whole singleton class? Okay. And in which kind of scenario we can use this class, like whether where we can use singleton and where, where you can use the static class. So the, the differences between singleton and static are a singleton object can have a constructor, whereas a static object cannot have a constructor which means that we can use singleton to uh, like constructor in the singleton object or singleton class to load any resources which are needed through the uh, throughout the life cycle of the uh, singleton class whereas in static we can't do that another thing is that singleton object can be disposed of whereas static cannot be disposed of another difference is singleton class can inherit a interface or a class whereas static class cannot do that so these were the differences between static and singleton now let's talk about the uses where can we use static class and where can we use singleton class so let's talk about static class static class we generally used for writing utilities or extension methods for example, we have like a string class and we want to add an extension, explicit extension to that string class. Uh, so for that, we will write a static extension method. Okay. Another thing is like we can write some utilities which we can use throughout the application. For, for example, a conversion utility which is not available, like converting a number to a, another unit which is not available in by default in .NET framework. So these kind of conversion or some logic or some independent utility like doing something, mixing two objects or creating something. So for writing utilities, we will use static classes. Okay. So now let's talk about uses of singleton class. Singleton class is primarily used where we have to implement some logic along with single object. So logic like uses of resources. So let's say you are creating a printer driver where you want to use uh, like implement the queuing or sequential programming or those kind of things. So in that case, we will use singleton class that, okay, we can have only one printer object available. And then when the work is done, we can dispose of that singleton object to dispose the printer. In common application development practice, singleton classes are primarily used for creating connection objects. So where we can use, like we can inter, uh, inherit a singleton class, uh, inherit a singleton class from any interface so that we can implement the factory pattern also, like we can create the connection object based on uh, the parameter which we uh, send for different kind of databases. So that way we can have only one single database connection throughout the application. So in order to save the resources and in order to uh, save database and uh, network resources. Okay. So we can say that singleton object is used where we, we want a single object along with some logic and static classes are used where we can, uh, where we want to implement some uh, like utilities which are available throughout the life cycle of the application. So this was the answer to the popular interview question. What is the difference between a static class and a singleton class? I hope you like this video. And if you want to watch more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. 
and if you like this video do hit that like button thank you for watching bye bye